Hello everybody, welcome to game number three of the Cross-Platform Cup. And as we can see, this one started with sweltering heat, which is, you know, something that I hate and a lot of people hate. Um, if I pause it here, oh, no, I don't, I don't like having the turn one in the middle. Right, okay, we've got them moving. So, Will Sitar representing PC with Orcs, and Glasshammer representing Xbox with Chaffs. Um, let's have a look at the teams. He's, now he's gone. Now I think, again, this is symptomatic of the way this tournament has gone. I think Hippie's team was much better. Um, Glasshammer's put three skills in a Hobgoblin here to have a good car carrier against Wood Elves, which, you know, is, is certainly an option. He doesn't have piling on in his claw guys. Um, he has instead a Mighty Blow on a guard. I mean, straight away I would have just moved that Mighty Blow over to make it piling on on one of those, at least. Um, he does have four guard, though. He doesn't have break tackle on this bull. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. I, don't, I really don't like not having break tackle on the bull. I think you've got to have break tackle on both bulls. Um, I mean, the the, the blood shoe hands guy is, is a nice thing to have against uh, against Woodies and Skaven as well. But still, um, you've got to. I mean, you don't have to, but you'd think with all of your tackle and mighty blow and stuff, you'd you'd you know ground them into the dirt a little bit, and uh, yeah. So. And then Will Sitar, this was the this was the one kind of team on the PC that I didn't like that much. Um I could see his reasoning. He, he took Mighty Blow on the on the on the Black Hawks. Now I'd have just gone guard on these. Because, you know, they're gonna be it the harder to remove the guard than the guard of the blitzers is. Um, you know, being strength four naturally. Obviously blocking them all is great. I love the block leader because the format allowed three doubles and fourteen normals. But you couldn't swap a normal for, like a double for a normal. You had to use your double allowance. So after you've taken dodge on your carrier and block on your troll, the the only double left is leader. So I really liked his leader. Um, I I don't like the combination of tackle and guard. Um, I would have maybe liked to have dropped one of these top tackle and give him piling on, or swap the guard for mighty blow, um, on one of these maybe, and you know, but definitely get guard on the on the on the uh, on the black orcs. Maybe drop tackle off one and give guard to him as well. You know, just get get guard there. You know, I really like a lot of guard. Guard on the troll he could have gone with as well. But I mean, three tackle is is good against the dodgy teams. He was trying to make a mix so that you know he had mighty blow against uh, Skaven and Wood Elves, and he had plenty of tackle against them, and then had some guard as well. So like, it's I'm not saying it's a bad team. It's just that I would have really liked guard on these guys. <laughs> That's all. And now obviously. I know how the game's gone out. I have seen this game before. And now, to be fair, he does get a lot of two dice blocks with his Mighty Blow guys. Um, so, you know, on another day, the, the Mighty Blow could have worked out great. Um, but then that's 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 it, isn't it? I, I felt PC um, were the favourites, you know, for, 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 for the matchups. That's what I think, anyway. And I thought, you know, what we should have done was to try to minimise risk and stuff rather than uh, be greedy. So I think I think Mighty Blow's a bit greedy. I don't like keeping in contact even with the free block there. Yeah, he doesn't have piling on no. I would have I would have at least, you know, given piling on to the tackle. Tackle Mighty Blow guy. Mm. Oh, not getting a three dice mighty blow hit feels bad man. That makes the line quite weak now, doesn't it? You could, uh, you could, you could put some pressure on, but I guess he doesn't really want to. He just wants to take the hits that he's been given. Death. Neither team has piling on, which is crazy. That's, that's the start of the. I mean, this this is a could have been a horrible matchup for Orcs, but the fact that he doesn't have piling on makes it a bit better. But still, obviously. Not good where your big advantage is being armor nine and having that robbed is. Um, yeah, he did have four reloads, didn't he? Um, he does have the apple. Hmm, he's got alignment as well, so he's got he's got twelve. So yeah, there was nothing really else he could get, is there? I mean, he could have 13 players, but... 
the fact that he just couldn't, he could, he just couldn't take anything. You know, I guess he could have had dodge on the troll, maybe. <laughs> I'm not dead. No, no, I was just moving, moving to Germany, and now I'm here on the PC with glorious HD. He's rolling some bad block dice here, Will Sitar, by the way. You, you'll find out that it's a common theme. Yeah, got the guard coming in to shore up this, because this is a bit of a mess here, giving up hits, isn't it? But still, he can probably get the guard in. No, he can't. No, he can't get the guard in to uh, blitz him. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Like the uh, the dwarves, to be fair, haven't haven't broken armor much, but they don't have piling on, so you can't expect claw mighty blow to be completely devastating. I think I think I think you know you I think you have to have piling on, especially with claw. But he, even the old blitz I think should have had piling on. <laughs> Lots of pushes. Well, I don't like having the ball this far forward. Right next to the bull. It's dodgy in it. All right. Okay. Not not so scary, but both down there would have been pretty scary. I don't think this looks GG at all. I mean, the sweltering heat can have an effect, and claw can have an effect. Big, big, uh, big, big, really stupid there. Wasn't it letting him get the 2D with claw? That would have piled on if he could have done. <laughs> no. Yeah, this is not an easy advance for the orcs. But. He can get random removals, can't he? Classic GFIs and dodges. <laughs> no frenzy as well. That's maybe maybe the frenzy might have been an idea. Maybe he could have made that three dice here. If this had been a guard, he would have almost certainly moved him in there to get three dice on him. But as it is, he gets to mighty blow blitz the claw and only roll the both down. So, you know, on another day, this, this mighty blow could have worked out really well for Will Sitar. So I, I really don't want to call him wrong for uh, taking it. You know, just because I wouldn't have done it doesn't make it right, does it? Uh, doesn't make it wrong or right. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot. Uh, mo uh, most of the ball is is just opinion or situation or whatever. Like I, I really don't like taking bribes, and then there's times when I've taken a bribe and I've rolled a one. And I'm like, oh, see, I shouldn't have taken the bribe, or someone else has taken the bribe, and I think I wouldn't have taken a bribe there. And then they roll a one on their bribe, and, like, and I'm like, see. But you know, on the other hand, they could have. You could take a bribe and completely devastate your opponent, couldn't you? So, just 
it is what it is. Really can't judge things by by what actually happens. Just the odds, and he he did get to make a lot of blocks with his mighty blow. So I can see why he did it for sure. Like especially if he's used to getting a lot of two dice blocks with his orcs, his orc black orc, black orcs and that. Was I I personally would have valued guard a lot more. But like in this situation, mighty blow's just better, isn't it? He just gets to hit him with mighty blow, hit him with mighty blow. Or hit him with mighty blow, whatever. He just gets tons of mighty blow hits instead of... The guard wouldn't really be doing much. <laughs> yes, you may. Yeah, in Germany and in glorious HD. <laughs> he could really do with knocking somebody over ever, couldn't he? <laughs> He just had four blocks there and didn't get anybody down. It's disappointing. But guard on the blitzers is uh, he's pretty good at this point when he's having to do a bit of a potatoy, a bit of a potatoy run here, isn't he? Weakness of the chops there, getting a movement four player tagged and taken out. <laughs> but then oh huge huge misplay wasn't it he had both balls and he did not make safe moves first he had this hobgoblin didn't make safe moves this guy he did not make any safe moves first he went in did he have to push him I don't think he had to push him I think that was a greed reroll and it was punished. So now he, he did have bad dice, but it was also poor play being punished, wasn't it? And the push, I think I would have blocked with this guy to chain him away to free up the other black hawk, or get another block depending on what he wanted to do. But, oh, pushes on there. Gets a power here with my e-blow. Got to tag him, hasn't he, so he can't make two dodges. Yeah, that was that was the, you know, this move he should have made last turn, shouldn't he? This move he should have made last turn. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly, scroll <laughs> too. Yeah. So now he's just got nothing over this side, has he? It's really, that really was a killer, that, that greed reroll punished and it wasn't lucky it wasn't lucky to not get a push now was he just re-rolling for a push or was he re-rolling for a pal I, I believe he was re-rolling for a pal so I think it was being a greedy anyway um, but he's managed to scramble something back hasn't he and then I guess he I guess he kind of had to make that block because he, otherwise he's going to get blocked by black orcs but on the other hand if he does get blocked by black orcs at least he's he's occupying them, isn't he? I think this was a really nice turn from uh, from Will Sitar here. What I would have done is I would have blitzed this guy and caged here. But Will Sitar makes quite a nice sideline-ish cage. Yeah, like it's it's shaky. Like obviously he's giving up a. He's giving up some kind of a chance. It's it's not, it's not a completely solid, uh, solid cage, but I like it. I think he did. I think he did a pretty good. He got a pretty good spot out of it. Yeah, I, I, I like this turn. Now, as it happened. He could have got two dice on the ball. Because what he could, and in my opinion should have done, is move these two uh, hobgoblins to here, block this guy, hope for a pow, 
and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hit him on two dice with tackle. So I think it was a misplay moving this black oak. This black oak should have been here. Um, for sure, this black oak should have been here. So I think I think that was a mistake. Well, I don't think it was a mistake. It was a mistake, wasn't it? This black oak should have been here because two assists, two dice. Get the pal, run around, hit him. Do you even need the pal? Yeah, you need the pal. Unless this first dodge is a four plus. So that was a pretty easy way to get two dice on the ball. However, however, um, Glasshammer either did not see that or did not go for it. And he went for a dodge um, through there to one dice block him into, into a one dice block from him. So, so yeah, I think I think he probably just didn't see that. But he could he could have got two dice on the ball with tackle, pretty easily. Uh, there was something here where Sid Ar could have done something a little bit differently. He could have blocked him, got in this assist, blocked him, so that, that then a push he could have run around to get the assist because he he basically forced himself to get a pal there. So yeah, he, he did the blitz here and then ran around to get the assist. What he should have done was, and I'm pretty certain this is the correct play, is block him, hope for a pow. No, is a push good enough? A push is good enough. And then one, two, three, four, he blocks him. So that then he could have made this block and if it was a push he could have run around here to get the assist in. So I think that was a definite misplay from Will Sitar. But didn't really matter in the end. Because he got the touchdown. Good job. That that was looking um yeah the blitz was pretty optimistic exactly he had to get a pal, and it, it was seventy five percent wasn't it let's be honest but still, um I think he should have done it my way, <laughs> and then he could have had he would have it would have succeeded, um, you know thirty five times out of thirty six. So, I mean, that was a pretty good result for Will Zidar, only, only taking one Kaz against two Claw Mighty Blows. But then obviously he was able to uh, control the Claw Mighty Blows as well with his, with his own Mighty Blow guys that did nothing. <laughs> That's the thing, just having the strength advantage against Chorps is pretty good, as long as you don't lose players. And obviously with claw, without Claw Palm, they're less likely to remove players to get an overwhelming advantage. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I feel like if he just moved this random mighty blow over to make piling on, his team would have been a lot better. And uh... <laughs> um, not today, TLC, because I've I've got a really bad cold and I've been sneezing all the time and blowing my nose all the time and uh... <laughs> it didn't look very good on camera <laughs> when I was trying to set up the face cam. It was just, I was just, my face was just like trying to sneeze all the time and stuff and it was horrible. Um, I'm going to be, yes, Targaryen, I am officially, I'm officially moving to uh, Germany now, yeah. Right, tasty gym power there. obviously not trying to do the one turner which would have been very low odds he had a chance of it if he got a riot got the mighty ball randomly randomly getting a Kaz there So that was that made things tougher, didn't it? And now, check out the heat. Oh, Garda gone. 
Roger gone, leader gone. Brutal, absolutely brutal. Brutal heat. His carrier gone on his on his on his offensive drive, making his making the three skills he picked on him look even more suspect. Um, and then we get nice. So it, all all the uh, all the all the sweep does is completely screw Wills at as defensive drive. Down to seven players. And I, uh, I was taught in the Calcium when this match was on, due to Will Sitar only streaming in Russian, because he's Russian. And uh, Calcium and I agreed that what we would have done would have just been to lie down at this point. Because, uh, <laughs> here he is, yeah, it was pretty early. It was pretty early that we called the lie down. Because the, the heat had changed um, I tell you, I'll, t I'll, t I'll show you the exact moment that we call the lie down. Because there was a get the ref as well, right? So, the Chos have got a bribe. The Orcs have got a bribe. And the exact time we call the lie down is him getting caught on the first foul. Because now, he's not going to want to foul every turn. You know... He's going to get a knockdown, one or two players with Claw Mighty Blow every turn if you try to fight this drive. So I think you save your rerolls, lie down, only take three Mighty Blow hits. He hasn't got a dirty player, he doesn't want to foul and risk losing his own guys anymore. So I would have completely just uh, just laid down, I think, here. Um, however, all credit will sit out. He, uh, he, he goes in for the kill and, and puts up, tries to put up a fight. I mean, if he had piling on, I think that the laying down would have looked a lot better. But I guess without piling on, but still, he's taken these hits, aren't he? But, you know, I guess you don't really want to go to overtime, do you? Wow, defend, defending with seven guys against a full, a full ten, nearly a full eleven. Really tough, really tough for Orcs. No movement, no agility, and their strength is is kind of counted by being outnumbered. He's not stopping fouling. <laughs> yeah, lemon is good. <laughs> Well, at least he's only giving up one one claw hit, and I mean it is only claw mighty blow. It's not like it's it's claw palm, you know. I think I think if the not lying down would have been a lot bolder against against claw palm, but I guess with him only having claw mighty blow, the ballsier choice isn't isn't so crazy. I mean, you really don't rely on a on a on a roll off, do you? Like you know, coin toss to to win or lose the game is is crap, especially if you think you're better, you're better than your opponent. <laughs> Hello, Drick. Um, <laughs> yeah, the, the, I'll play some more with the woodies and the dwarves, um, but for now, just gonna get these these videos for YouTube's. And the cross cross platform cup. Not actually cross platform. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, obviously he's looked out, not not taken any damage from these claw hits, but it is only one claw mighty blow hit a turn, and you know, I don't know, it's not. If you can do, if you can throw everything, including the kitchen sink, at this offensive drive, he's got a shot to stop it, and uh, and plus he's got mighty blows of his own, hasn't he? Which he's getting to hit with. 
Like he's made he's made a lot of hits with his mighty blow. His mighty blow uh, orcs and just done nothing with them. But here he's giving up some core hits and again nothing. So. <laughs> Oh, I don't I don't like this positioning from a uh, glass hammer here taking his guards out of the equation he could have assisted with that hobgoblin couldn't he and got the guard in here to two dice and two dice no he didn't need it for that one fair enough but the only one dice here still yeah he had an assist there but still the only one dice here is very bad isn't it how big gets him in fair enough I still thought my way was better <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true, don't they, Callus? Yeah, that's true. Cheeky one dice. No, it wasn't, it was a two. It, when, when they pick it, it just looks like a one dice, doesn't it? Oh, sorry, brother. <laughs> Hello, son, 89. Hello. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Right. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, I must say I uh, got distracted then. But. <coughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I really think that. Well, I should have got some guard in. But, you know, he's making a good cage, isn't he? Glass Hammer. He's, it was a little bit. A little bit weak at one point, I think. But it's really hard. Really hard for Will Sitar here. Just pushing. He's, he, keep, he keeps getting mighty blow hits on his claw and keeps not doing anything. I would have probably pushed him to here and so I could have hit him again with, with, my, with a mighty blow. And where his blitz is going to be here. Or GFI to hit him. This could have been on the on the claw. Let's see what is what the dice are. Nothing. Fair enough. Ooh. Tasty armor break. And I like I like I like that I like that he's isolated the uh, claw mighty blow on the troll now. That makes him pretty safe, doesn't it? So, so that that's that's dealt with the problem of the attrition quite well. Well, there's less time than now, anyway now. So, hmm. Maybe that's irrelevant. <laughs> Maybe that's irrelevant now. He's he's done amazing to not take more damage. To be fair. But then it is only claw mighty blow. It is only claw mighty blow. So really, Glass Armor has himself to blame for not taking piling on. If he'd taken piling on, maybe he would have teed off on this team a bit more. Maybe he could have based the ball here. I wouldn't have hated it. Because, I mean, he's just blitzing somebody he could have blocked, isn't he? Though he's getting some pressure on. I mean, if turns left, I guess he had to get pressure on. But um, I feel like he could have done better this turn. Uh, he got some pressure on, but I, I don't know. I feel like he could have done more. Maybe he should have followed up with a troll that turn. Um, just because obviously he's faster than the chalk blocker. Um, Rerolling that double skulls there by both of them. Interesting. But loses them a reroll for overtime. Overtime is looking almost assured now. <laughs> Johnny Five. <laughs> yeah, look, you know, ultimately, he lost so many players to the heat that he didn't have much hope of stopping the score. But if you could make him use a reroll or two, 
That's that's a big win going into overtime, isn't it? Yes, that's very true, Skrull Dude. Yes, that's true. The leader has not played yet this half, so... He does have him available. So he's got... can pause it here. He's got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 GFI to one dice the ball. With, you know, so it's what, 4 plus, 3 plus, 2 plus, for a 50-50 to knock him down. That's better than nothing, isn't it? So I think I would have gone for that. Just, you know, to try and hit him. Not use a reroll, but go for a 4, 3, 2, 4 to get the ball. And, you know, if he knocks him over, he hasn't got... He, this guy can't score. He's only got agility 2 if he gets him down. So I think I would have gone for that. But instead... He goes for the, the kind of safe move, if you like, of basing the ball. And, hmm, is that worth it? He didn't even base him from this angle. One, two, three, four, five. I ah, still wouldn't need GFI, but still. You know, I don't know. I really don't think it's worth basing the ball. I would have gone for the riskier, try to hit him just because the payoff is so much better, you know. If you if you one dice, if you make the four plus three plus two plus four plus, now I don't know what that chance of that is. It's obviously pretty low. Um, like, less than one in six chance. But if it works, it works, doesn't it? And you're pretty happy. <laughs> you're pretty much stopping him scoring, or at least forcing him to use a reroll if that works. Whereas basing the ball, he just he just almost certainly knocks you over and scores easily, doesn't he? Um, <laughs> but yeah, so so fair play for Worlds that are trying to stop him. And obviously they're back to normal normal weather now. And we're just gonna see who wins the coin toss to almost certainly win in overtime. In all, in all my time playing Blood Bowl, I think I've very rarely seen the person win the toss, not win. I won the toss in the playoffs against Bretonians, I think. Was that was that it? And then I won on I won on penalty kicks, despite the fact that I received the coin toss. And I remember I played Sage once where he won the coin toss and, that, and I won in overtime. But I've very, very rarely seen the person who's lost the toss win the win the overtime, very rare. <laughs> so yeah, it's World Sitar for one, one turn, isn't it? Uh, maybe he could have taken a, a goblin here for the chance of a one turn touchdown. Might have been an idea. You could say that's a... Yeah, I had two fewer rerolls in the end, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Luke, did Lupat manage to win the, win the coin toss and then lose in overtime? It's very rare to win the coin toss and lose in overtime, though I, I fully deserve to. I think I really do think it would be a good change for whoever wins the coin toss. If they don't score, they lose. I think that's how it should be. You know, I, I mean, you know, because it's such a huge advantage to win the coin toss. And you, you haven't won the coin toss by any skill, you've just rolled some dice. So then if the other person stopped you from scoring, I think I think they deserve to win. And, and obviously that goes for the games that me, myself, have won that I shouldn't have done. Uh, I'm not biased. I just think, you know, I didn't play well to win the coin toss in overtime, did I? So. Wow. Impressive. So... Chorf's won the toss for overtime. And they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. A full 11. And the Orcs have only 10. And it's three re rolls each. So, huge.
Yeah, elves, elves are a nightmare. And Skaven. Yeah, they're both, they're both pretty bad, to be fair. Squirrel dude, the savant here. Yeah, that was that was very lucky. Glasshammer getting the reroll, wasn't it? And he did have a fame of two. I don't know if that was just on dice rolls or if he actually paid for fan factor in his team build. But um, I really don't like the way fame works. I think I think it should be just on fan factor. I think fan factor should count more than ten k. Should go up every time you win, go down every time you lose, like TV Plus, and then but then it should just compare the fan factor rather than fame for rolls. Um, but yeah, it was a good kick though, very good kick from Will Sedar, and yeah, now he's down re rolls. Um, so now all Glasshammer has to do here is either score because he's got the, he's getting the ball, or not score, not use any re rolls, and have a plus one in the roll-off. Um, the other thing is, of course, because he's receiving, the pressure is on him to use re-rolls to protect the ball. It's a lot easier for Will Sedar to play defence not using a re-roll. Um, so it is easier for Will Sedar to save his re-rolls in this situation, for sure. A bit of a horrible reroll re follow up there, wasn't it? Like he needed it to get two dice, but then it also just follows up into a mighty blow tackle zone, getting a free two dice mighty blow hit there. And now he finally gets to use his sure hands guy who double ones it. <laughs> He's made, he's made so many mighty blow hits with his with his with his black orcs, and they just haven't broken armor ever. And it's like, so you know, I can see, I can definitely see why he did it. Why he took it, you know, if he if he feels that he could he could get so many blocks in and dominate with them, then taking taking mighty blow on them is a fair a fair shout, but then. Guard's just so much more consistent, isn't it? It works. Guard works uh, 32 turns of a game. Wimpy blow, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 not bad. It's not bad to have the mighty blow. You know, I really wouldn't call him wrong for taking it. And especially if he's used to just getting so many two dices with them. Like, if that's the way he plays when he's playing... He, he does play a lot of orcs. Um... So if that's the, if that's the way he's used to building them, then you can forgive him for that as well. Because obviously, in a in an actual progression environment, giving mighty blow to them gets them skills faster as well. So no, I I don't think he did. I wouldn't have done it. I would have I would have gone guard. Hundred percent. I would have gone guard. But I'm just saying I don't hate it as much as as much as I don't agree with it, um, and wouldn't have done it myself. I don't think it's just wrong. You know. Yeah, I, I think you, I think I would have, I would one hundred percent taken a tackle pom blitzer, uh, without any doubt. I think every team that can take pom should have taken pom, <laughs> and every team that could have taken mighty blow should have taken mighty blow. <laughs> you know, and as much guard as possible on teams that need doubles for it and stuff like this. Um, so yeah. Yeah, he just, he's making so many hits with the mighty blows. So, fair play to him. And he's doing quite well here at stifling the chaff advance. He's got to be a bit wary of a potato, hasn't he? And he's finally remembered that he's got the uh, the uh, bribe from the kickoff result. Does a does a pathetic foul there. The leader reroll works because. Uh, yeah, it does because he ha it it wasn't on the pitch in normal time, so he should have the reroll now, 
Um, yeah, because he just hadn't used it yet. So yeah, absolutely. If if the leaves on the pitch, it gets added, and he, he hadn't been on the pitch. I'm sad that Team PC didn't have. But it's, but the thing is, though, Spartaco isn't really like kind of part of the community, is he? Uh, I'd have liked to have seen Andy Dave on there for sure. Uh, but yeah, obviously Spartaco would have been would have been good. Would have been good to watch for sure. Yeah. But I mean, we've still got very, we've still got very high quality coaches, haven't we? Uh, so it's it's okay. And really, really, Xbox I haven't played bad. <laughs> Thanks, J Five. <laughs> We could have had uh, we could have had uh, somebody, couldn't we? Who is it that we could have had? Joe Manji is is on, isn't he? Joe Manji's got it. We could have had Joe Manji if he was up for it. He did stream a little bit, yeah. Nah, electing to play it safe, bit. <clears throat> Like playing it safe is good, but Orcs are slow, and he's got to win in overtime because, you know, Grasshammer's is going to sit on these four rerolls, and he's going to he's going to win the he's going to win the penalty kicks. So I think maybe that turn he should have maybe gone forward a bit. He's scared of the claw, sure, but I think he should have pushed harder than what he has pushed. But then he was he was very mindful of the fact that you know he can hand off to a bull, or whatever. Maybe he can just run out. Maybe he can flank him. He is slow, so. He did want to keep him in front of him and, uh, you know, safety first, which is fair enough. No, absolutely, Ducky. He was in a horrible spot, wasn't he? He's down a man. He's down a man and he's slow and he can get clawed. So he's in a very tough spot. Maybe this turn, this turn I think was a huge turn. He's got all these blocks to make. He's got this block, this block, the block that he's made, these blocks here. He could, he could have really gone in, really gone in hard this turn. Bit unfortunate to have the stun there. But um, I think he really could have gone in hard this turn. But I, I don't blame him for not. I really don't blame him for not. I, I don't think it's like bad play that he didn't know anything. Yeah, he hung back a bit here, didn't he? That was the thing. He, he got a foul in. But he's got three players not really doing much. I don't know. I don't know if I've got the alert anymore that says it's going to play ads. Um, I forget to play ads, so I like to have the other ones on. Hello, Bookmaster X. Yep, Germany's pretty wonderful. Yep, pretty happy to be back. Yeah, I mean, th these are. This isn't criticism. I'm saying that you know he's not pushing forward more. It's just it's just an observation that maybe he could have done. Yeah. Yeah. So he's he's actually used his reroll and giving up giving up his advantage, um, which is. Not good. He had to cover down this sideline a bit, didn't he? Obviously, he wasn't going to re-roll that. Um, Wispel can also score at the moment. I, obviously, there's three turns left. But, you know, he's, he's got to be mindful of the Hobbs and the Bulls that can score. I think 
I think, mm, maybe the, I think I would have blocked with him, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. He gets him back there, though, which is good. And gets him back as well. So he's, he's got a potato pretty well covered. This bull can still score. But it's obviously hard. We could get over there. Potato it a bit, but... He doesn't want to, does he? Clearly, he just wants to. He just wants to consolidate and hopefully win on the kicks. <laughs> no reroll discipline. You'd have some here, though, wouldn't you? I mean, you've got to have some reroll discipline here when when it's your game plan is to literally stall the half out. And win on penalty kicks. You've got to, you know, he had to, he had to save his rerolls. I like, I like, I like this player sending down a hobgoblin here because this is essentially his only scoring threat. This technically is a scoring threat, even in two turns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is a scoring threat, but obviously this is his main one. So he will sit out either pushes. In as hard as he can here, or just make takes it over time, and he chooses to hit there and take it over time, which, uh, which you know, I I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe you just stick on a guy, and maybe maybe you push for it more. It's it again. You can't really say he did anything anything wrong here at all. That's fair enough, Johnny Five, and, and you know that there'll be times when people who have reroll discipline will regret not using their reroll because they end the half with two or three rerolls, and uh, well, there's no reason not to, was it, Valenik? I think that was the thing, you know, it was irrelevant, so why not? No one's going to get KO'd or anything, so. So there is there is actually a decent shot of scoring here. Um, sure, he doesn't have break tackle, but you can block the troll down or blitz the troll down. A hand off. No, let's see what you can do. One is whoa, two assists. If you power him, then. You could blitz him down with the bull, actually, couldn't you? You could actually. This could be a. This could have been a good play here. Could bring one, two, three, four. These two chuffs assist the block here. Pow him. To there. To there. Hob goblin goes to there. Bull blitzes him. And then you hand off to this bull. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to here for the ball. To have a shot, but instead he just uh, he just doesn't try. <laughs> yeah, and he he uses an irrelevant apple because the game's over. I think I would have tried for that score because maybe, maybe, maybe not though. Because I mean, if you go for that and you fail, he can block this guy free, and then he's got a he's got a lineman who can score. But he really didn't have many scoring threats of his own, so I think I would have gone for that. This is really his only scoring threat, this lineman. Also, you could have based up that lineman when you handed off to the ball. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think I'd really like. I would really like going for the touchdown on the ball. Obviously, wouldn't have spent a reroll on it though. But I'd like to have seen him try, rather than just sit on the sit on the, uh, you know, fifty fifty to win and penalty kicks, which he should have had an advantage on had he not wasted that reroll.
Oh, no, it's quite right, isn't it? Look, if you if you use rerolls as soon as you use them, you get more value from your rerolls than other people do, don't you? Um, <laughs> but if you hang on to them, um, maybe then you know for a crucial point, then maybe you get. It's more TV efficient to use them as soon as you have to, but maybe it's more TV effective to save them for when you need them. Yeah. Something like that, if you see what I mean. So yeah, he's got his, he's got his his lone lineman scoring threat. He's still got him. He's got there's some kind of a chance. There's maybe a plate to surf the ball here, though I don't, I don't think you can. I don't think you can surf the ball here. Um, Will Sitar spent a long time thinking about it. With Frenzy, obviously, he could. Um, he's just too... You know, I just don't see how you... Maybe maybe blitz him and then chain blocks in somehow. There's maybe a way to chain the ball, ball carrier out. Oh... Right, so you've put in a player here, and then blitz him to chain him to here. And then you block him and chain him to there. And then you fill up this square and then block him and push him into there. So yeah, I think you could, but it would be really hard. I don't think you could do it with the players. You'd have to probably dodge with this bulls. Dodge with this uh, black hole. One, two, three, four. GFI, push him. there yeah yeah so you you dodge GFI push him to here and you've got these squares filled up one two three four GFI GFI oh, I'd probably it's probably not even possible maybe it is he put him there maybe it was possible Oh yeah, so you do then you do that block. Yeah, so you can do that block. Yeah, and then one, two, three, four, double GFI. I still don't think it's possible though. Yeah. You're just gonna push him to there or there. I just don't think it was possible. Never mind anyway. So there you go, penalty shootout. So just a simple dice off, whoever rolls highest wins. I think it might have been there. I think it might have been there, Squirrel Dude. I honestly think it might have been there. But I think it was getting too boring for a video. <laughs> Yep, the last time I had, sh shouldn't have wasted his reroll. Whoa, <laughs> he's cheating. He's using his hand. You can't, you can't kick it with your hand. I wasn't even looking. <sighs> ballsy, ballsy strategy that wasn't it. Not even looking where he was hitting it. Fucking hell. Classic, classic technique from the black hole. Brilliant. It's just literally a D6 at plus your rerolls, 11 is good. Ooh, 3 2. It's like Euro 96 all over again. Oh, he's got it. Clog I missed. <gasps> well, Star's got a chance. Glorious. It's it's both both sides. Yeah, it's a book roll off. So both 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 coaches roll a d6 and add their remaining rerolls, and whoever gets the highest total wins. 
Um, so yeah, so it just ended up that literally he rolled higher than him. <laughs> After losing the coin toss though, so you know, only 10 AV breaks is pretty crazy considering he got quite a few claw hits. But um, but on the other hand, I think I honestly do think Will Zitter did a good job of limiting his claw hits. He was he was often stranded on a black oak or a or a troll, and wasn't uh, wasn't able to apply as much as he could have done. Got out blocked quite well, six seventy. So there's a lot of blocks, to be fair, from both sides. So he really did. He really did do well to not take as much, da not hardly any damage really. The uh, orcs there. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah. So that was uh, you know had uh, had Glasshammer saved his reroll, he would have had a big advantage in the roll off. So I think he definitely should have saved his reroll. Um, maybe he should have gone for the the handoff to the bull to score, but then he might not have uh, he might not have seen that. You know, who who knows. And may maybe you could argue that that Will Zidar should have pushed harder on defense, but then if he had, maybe uh, he would have lost in normal time. Uh, so you know you can't really you can't really criticize. Another very tight game, very very interesting, well played by the Xbox guys. But PC march on because they're the best. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.